Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel and today in this video we are going to solve biology sample question paper which is officially released from Karnataka board. So previously we have already solved physics and chemistry part. So in this video we are going to solve the biology part. So let's start the video. So the 24th question. So students here. Uh, four multiple choice questions are given to you. So let's see the first one. The plant hormone that causes wilting of leaves. So here wilting of leaves is nothing but falling of the leaves. So which hormone helps in wilting of the leaf? The answer is auxin. So option B will be the correct one. Next will be 25th question. The correct sequence of reproductive stages of uh, occurring in flowering plants is so usually students what happens is the male and female gametes. So first stage is gametes. So male and female gametes will fuse to form zygote. Okay so zygote will develop into embryo and then embryo will develop into seed. So this is the sequence of development. So if you see the option, option A will be the right one. Next one. 26 question. The site of complete digestion of carbohydrate, protein and fats is. So students complete digestion meaning is fully it should break into smaller particles. So this will occur in small intestine. So option D will be the correct answer. Next will be the unfertilized egg of female, human female contains. So unfertilized egg. So students you should remember this. Usually in female total 46 chromosomes will be there. So 46 chromosome in any uh, normal female. So in egg it will be half of this. So half means it will be 23. So 23 chromosome. So even in this half will be present. So half will be only X. Okay. So this is in case of female. So in female unfertilized egg consists of only one X chromosome. So remember even for male. So in male the sperm consists of Y chromosome. So this you should remember. So here the correct option will be B1 X chromosome. So X chromosome for female, Y chromosome for male. Next one. The folding up of leaves of a sensitive plant on touching with a finger is not a tropism. Why? So students tropism meaning is uh, there are uh, light tropism. Tropism meaning is movement. So you know that usually plant what is does this whenever sunlight uh, falls on that. Suppose if you keep a pot of plant near the window if sunlight falls on it the plant will start growing towards it. Okay so movement towards the uh, light or movement towards the chemical we call it as tropism. But here touch me not plant you would have seen. So if you touch that plant it will start closing like this. Okay, it is not showing the movement uh, towards or away. Instead of that, it just closes. So, what is uh, why it is so? They have asked. So, you can write this answer because it is non-directional movement. It is not directional. So, tropism directional mo movement where the directional movement of the plant part is towards the stimulus. Next one. What are analogous organs? So write the definition. Analogous organs are defined as organs of different animals that are having different structures but perform same function. Next is 30th one. What is the role of decomposers in the ecosystem? So you know that students usually decomposers will break everything into smaller particles. So decomposers break down complex organic substances into smaller one. Okay, decomposers help in decomposing dead plants and animals. They act as cleaning agents in the environment. So this much you should write if the question is asked. Next is 31st question. Why are traits acquired during its lifetime of an individual not inherited? Okay, so the traits which are inherited, trait meaning is nothing but character. Okay, the characters which are inherited during the lifetime of an individual is not inherited by. Okay, so answer is. Acquired traits are those traits which are acquired by the individual during its lifetime. Acquired characters are due to changes in lifestyle, injury, loss of blood paths, consumption habits. So hence they are not inherited because this changes in non-reproductive tissue which cannot be passed on to the next progeny. 
okay next progeny meaning is next generation because this is happening in non reproductive cell so students you know that there are two types of cells so one we call it as somatic cells okay another we call it as reproductive cells okay so the changes what is happening is taking place in the somatic cells so that is why it cannot be taken to the next generation so if the changes is taking place in the reproductive cell only then it can be inherited to the next generation next question answer the following question uh, so draw the diagram showing the structure of nephron and label bowman's capsule so structure of the nephron you should draw and then bowman's capsule this part you should label it and then next will be write any two differences between biodegradable and non biodegradable substances so biodegradable is they do not cause pollution non biodegradable they cause pollution and then biodegradable they decompose naturally in the environment decompose meaning is breaking okay so naturally they will break into smaller pieces whereas non biodegradable they do not decompose naturally in the environment next question uh, write a grassland food chain of and name the different tropic level of it okay so students here this is the uh, food chain so grass grass is eaten by the grasshopper then grasshopper by the frog so food chain will be like the snake snake by vulture okay so here you should mention which tropic level it occupies so grass will be producer tropic level 1 and then grasshopper will be primary consumer frog will be secondary consumer and snake will be tertiary consumer next will be the flow of energy in an ecosystem is unidirectional how justify okay the flow of energy in the ecosystem is unidirectional so students usually you know that suppose if there is plants okay plants we call it as producers from where do this plants get energy usually you know that plants will obtain energy during photosynthesis that is they prepare their food so this plants are eaten by the uh, maybe um, what herbivorous animals okay herbivorous animals so what happens is the energy from the plants will now pass on to the herbivorous animals so from herbivorous animal it will pass on to the carnivorous animal okay so again the energy from herbivorous will pass on to the carnivorous so it is in one direction you can see it is in one direction like this it is not coming back from animals it is not coming to the plants okay so what happens is in each tropic level the amount of energy also will decrease it passes in one direction and also the amount of energy will decrease so you can write this points you can pause the video and copy this points Uh, for this answer, next will be write the flow chart to show the breakdown of glucose by various pathway in the cytoplasm of the living organism. So this pathway you should write. So here you should uh, write here you can see glucose. Okay, glucose in the cytoplasm it will be converted into pyruvate, and then pyruvate will uh, be convert can be converted into three possible product. That is in the absence of oxygen. it will be converted into ethanol carbon dioxide and energy will be released or lack of oxygen it can be converted to lactic acid okay lack of oxygen you know that it occurs in our muscle cells that is whenever students you know that whenever we do lot of workout that is exercise our muscle cell uh, will require more amount of oxygen there will be deficiency of the oxygen so in during that time this happens that is it will be converted into lactic acid and third is in the presence of oxygen it will be converted to carbon dioxide water and energy so this flow chart you need to write so we'll move on to the next one or question explain the function of stomach in the uh, human digestive system so students stomach in the stomach three main things will be present that is gastric juice will release hcl mucus and then enzyme the name of the enzyme is pepsin okay so name of the enzyme is pepsin so you need to write the function of this so hcl will make uh, the uh, the whatever is present in the stomach as acidic the medium will be become acidic so pepsin the action of the pepsin that is uh, pepsin will start functioning only if the condition is acidic in nature if the 
uh, acid is present acidic medium pepsin can start its function then next will be mucus mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach so students you know that if mucus is not present the inner wall also will be uh, the hcl will start reacting on that and ulcer will be formed so that is why mucus will form a coating on the surface of the stomach to prevent the action of hcl next question explain human male reproductive system so all the parts you need to explain so i have given all the answers you can see here so all the main parts so it consists of testes um, this is uh, scrotum sorry this is scrotum and then epididym is vas deferens seminal vesicle seminal vesicle this is seminal vesicle prostrate gland and penis so testes you can see all the functions i have given testes scrotum then epididym is vas deferens then uh, seminal vesicle and prostrate gland and then penis so you need to explain the structure and function of this so you can just pause the video and uh, take a screenshot of this or you can just note down this points next will be the tall pea plant bearing red color flower ttrr is crossed with a dwarf plant so let us see this okay so here tall pea plant bearing red color flowers so that is t capital t r and r okay so this is tall so for tall it is capital t tall red color flower okay this you are crossing with dwarf plant bearing y flower that is small so small t small t small r r so this is dwarf and y flower represent the result obtained in f2 generation of the hybrid cross so you can cross this so 1t 1r you can take and here small t small r so in the next generation tr sorry so this will be t small t capital r small r so this will be now tall plant with the red flower okay so this is uh, what you get in the f1 generation okay so now this one you are going to cross in the f2 generation represent the result obtained in f2 generation with the help of the checkerboard so you need to draw the checkerboard and represent it so you can see the uh, diagram here checkerboard so here they have gear taken for round uh, round seed and round green color seed which is crossed with wrinkled yellow okay instead of that you should take here tall plant with red seed a red flower and then dwarf plant with white color flower so here instead of r r and y y you should take t t and r r so cross this you will be getting in the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so draw the checkerboard and then uh, write the ratio so students if you are not able to draw the uh, checkerboard and you don't know how to do it please uh, comment in the uh, comment box let me check it out so if you want i can draw the checkerboard and show it show to you once again okay next will be there is a or question what is speciation mention the factors could lead to the raise of new speciation so uh, you have to write the definition origin of new species from the existing species is called speciation main factors you can write so there are four main factors so you can mention those four factors we'll move on to the next one draw the diagram showing the structure of human brain label the following parts so one is cerebrum second is cerebellum so here you can mention the cerebrum so this is cerebrum draw the diagram mention this cerebrum and then cerebellum part so here you can see there is cerebellum so cerebellum part so this too you need to mention so students i hope the concepts are clear still if you have any queries uh, students draw the checkerboard in the previous question 
so same way how uh, example is given there so draw the checkerboard and write all the possibilities so you should get the answer in 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio okay so okay students i hope is this will be a very useful to you so practice many times so that you will become very confident to write your examination so i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye take care